गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी कंपनी बैलेंस शीट शेड्यूल थ्री एंड टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन सो वट इज द टूडे टॉपिक बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू हैव टू नो वी हैव ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयर डिफरेंट वीडियोज ऑन द फॉर द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द बैलेंस शीट सो वट आर द फॉर्मेट फर्स्ट आई वॉन्ट टू रिकॉल शेयर होल्डर्स फंड नेक्स्ट नॉन रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस and next non current liabilities today is the last that is called current liabilities in the liability side so my dear student current liabilities what are the current liabilities and you can say the sub heads the first sub head is short term borrowing my dear student when we have to heard the short term short term means it comes under the 12 month so within the 12 month whatever the liabilities it comes under the short term or current liability so overdraft limits in within the 12 month loan repayables within 12 month cash credit limit 12 within 12 month loans from others party these are the short term borrowings which is comes under the head of short term borrowing so my dear student you have to recall always the overdraft loans repayable cash credit limit loans from other parties comes under short term borrowing now the second trade payables generally trade payables the two things comes under creditors and bills payable these two things you can already aware about in non current liabilities why because when transactions or you can say that the payment of creditor within a 12 month payment of bills payable within a 12 month then it comes under a trade payable and it comes under the current liabilities so next is other current liabilities this is very important you have to keep remember there are so many points you first current maturity of long term debt what is this meaning if the long term debt is going to be completed within this accounting year so it comes under the other current liabilities interest accrued but not due that also comes under the other current liabilities income received in advance it is simple whenever you received any income in advance that comes under the current liabilities unpaid dividend you see it is also simple when dividend is declared but till now not payment the company will going to write other current liabilities okay unpaid dividend outstanding expenses if the expenses were not paid it comes under outstanding expenses other current liabilities other payable first year calls in advance calls in advance you can say that during the issue of share if the shareholders pay a particular call amount before a time if the particular calls money paid at the time of allotment or application that should be treated as calls in advance so it's also comes in other current liabilities now here other payables what is the other payable whatever the gst input output gst and payment made through out the year okay if there is a liability you can show other payable provident fund also comes under other payables my dear student not next is short term provision here short term provision is in this topic one important topic that is provision for tax this provision for tax will help in the cash flow chapter so provision for tax is we have to create a provision for coming year regarding the tax that also comes under the provision for tax in short term provision short term provisions short provision for expense also so my dear students so any provision we are going to create for the expenses in a particular operating cycle or you can accounting period that also comes under the short term provision here i want to suggest you you keep remember all points whether it comes from short term borrowing trade payables other current liabilities short term provision these four are these four are the subheads 
and these are the items which comes under the head. Why I am telling this thing? Because we are following Schedule Third to Company Act 2013. We have to prepare according to these rules. We cannot prepare own rules. Okay, my dear student. I hope you can understand this topic. Thank you.